Transformation and Weight Loss Specialist. Today I'm so excited to share with you, we are going to be doing a recipe for acorn squash. And a lot of people don't like to work with acorn squash because either they aren't familiar with it or they're not sure how to work with it. So today we are so lucky we have our guest chef, Adam, who's also my husband, uh, in the house to share with us how to make this in a very quick and easy way. And squash is outstanding because it is a low glycemic carbohydrate and it's super important that you get those in every day, at least twice a day, because they are going to give you sustained energy. So, without further ado, let me please introduce to you our wonderful guest chef, Adam. Hi, I'm Adam and I'm going to be showing you today how to make acorn squash. Uh, quickly though, a lot of people are kind of scared to use this type of product because they don't know what's a good squash and what's a bad. Uh, very easily, the first thing you can do is look at the color. You want it as dark green as possible. You don't necessarily need to worry about that part. That's just where it's sat on the ground. Uh, but you want it as dark green as possible. The lighter it gets means that it has been out for a long time and it's going to be really dry. Okay? So, this recipe is super easy. The first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 375. And while that's preheating, we're going to prepare the squash. Very simply, we're going to cut from end to end. And we're just going to cut down the middle. So, grab yourself a sharp knife and cut down the middle. Alright, with that, we're just going to clean out the squash. We've got the squash prep ready to go. I've got our container ready to go as well. Uh, we've got a non-aerosol pump that we have some canola oil that we use to spritz on there so it doesn't stick. We're going to place those in the container and now we're going to prep them with our seasonings. The first seasoning we're going to do is actually a little bit of salt. Um, so when I say a little bit, I mean a very tiny amount. Just a little handful. And you're going to put that over top of squash. Next is cinnamon. With these seasonings, it's going to taste almost like pumpkin pie-ish. So just we're going to sprinkle a little bit on top of there. And try not to get any on the container itself because it's going to burn. Cloves are next, ground cloves. And last, we've got some ground ginger. As you can see, it's not a lot of seasonings, but this is going to taste awesome. The, net, the last step is we're going to put a little bit of fat on it, so we're going to use some butter. I'm going to use half of a tablespoon for each. So it's not a lot. Okay? And those are going to go in the bottom of each one. The reason I'm doing that is because squash is very dry, uh, and that's going to help absorb into the squash and make it really moist and great. That's it, everybody. This gets put in an oven, uh, at, like I said, at 375 for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. You'll know that these are done when you can use a fork to poke them and it comes, come, the fibers come loosely apart. Okay? So we're going to place those in the oven. All right. Uh, our timer went off. Our squash is done easily able to be pierced with a fork. And it is hot. Serving size for this is half a piece. Uh, so I'm just going to put it on the side. And that is very simple acorn squash. So one acorn squash is four separate servings of low glycemic carbohydrates and if you're at all concerned about the butter content, it's actually well within your saturated fat recommendations per serving. So for full recipe details, please check out CoachMarissa.com and for all of our videos, subscribe to The Power Within 
where we protect your health and improve your appearance.